There we go. Got him. What is going on folks welcome back to the channel welcome back to another freaking episode out here doing some freaking fishing guys doing some fishing looking for those big old bass out on a super hot summer day down here in southwest missouri on table rock lake we're down here in the lower end of the wall of the lake uh we're gonna run some shadow or some shade patterns some uh the fishing in the flooded brush under docks uh, you know water temperatures are crazy high right now already you know summer is here so these fish in my mind I'm no expert by any means but I've got to believe that they're thinking about getting underneath the shade moving out deeper to these deeper spots so I've got a big old I've got a big old crankbait tied on I've got top water tied on I've got a flipping stick tied on just in case uh, I've got our finesse style you know just just all the things that I think that we might need and we're we've got all day to find a, find a pattern and put some fish in the stinking bass tracker so i'm excited i'm ready to go I, I didn't get out here nearly as early as i wanted to but things happen sometimes and it is what it is but we still have plenty of time today to get out here and catch some fish so uh thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video for supporting the channel for watching and uh let's go ahead and get this day started what do you say might as well get started with some top water water temps are 85 degrees beautiful day well it's gonna get really hot though i mean i think the high for today is like 95. probably head for the main after this snuck back here in a little creek creek arm fish just flooded brush that i saw on google maps but got a couple spots in the main i want to try too so Busting fish right over there. There we go. Oh, it's a nice one, folks. Oh, it's a nice one. It's a good one. Oh my gosh, that's a that's a dandy. That's a big old dandy. That's a freaking hoss, dude. Look how he ate that thing. Look how he ate that freaking popper. Look how he ate that freaking popper, dude. That's a way to start your day right there, folks. That's a way to start your day right freaking there. Look at that hoss, guys. What a tank. What a tank. I might, it's not even gonna... My, my freaking ruler's not even long enough, dude. Look at that guy, guys. Look at that. Look at that freaking fish, dude. I knew that there'd be one that come up on that popper. That's awesome. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy back on in the water. Thank you, sir, on that popper. Shoot. Yes. That's better than coffee in the morning right there. Get your day started with a big old freaking three-pounder on a top water. Let's go. our way over to a very similar area but the only difference is now we're on the main channel water seems a lot cleaner out here Not a very big one, but that was. Oh, he's hooked outside the mouth. Come here. Oh. Very sloppy landing job, but he's in the boat. Came after it too. He came, pulled him out of that flooded trees. 
All right, fish number two. Look at his tail's all bloody. You guys see that? Look at that bloody tail. Drew him out of here a little bit deeper. Boat sitting in eight foot of water now, so I guess it was probably about the same depth of that largemouth we just caught. Nice long skinny one right there. Post spawner. Thank you so much. Oop. Ooh, one had it. One had it. Come on, come back for it. How? I watched him sneak up behind it and grab it. This doesn't make any sense. Nice. No, it's not that big. Never mind. Get in here. Woo! Finally. Man, that felt good. He went thunk. Nice little fat spotted bass. Right here at the edge of the dock. Sitting in 15, 16 foot of water. Been getting a lot of bites on the jig and finally was able to connect with one of these guys. Not a huge one, but a pretty thick, good looking spotted bass. Thank you, sir. Shoop. I knew that jig bite had to happen eventually. There's another one. Oh, small guy. Gosh dang it. He was running right at me, man. I couldn't catch up with him. Little bitty spotted bass. <laughs> Same spot, guys, right in front of this dock. Flat point off the main, right in front of this flat dock. There we go. Small mouth, small mouth, a nice one. Oh, finally. That's the first smallie of the year, boys. First smallie of the year for me, boys. Let's freaking go. Yes. Oh, I love it. Let's freaking go, boys. Let's go. First smallie of the year. Oh man, that felt so good. First smallmouth of the year for me right there. I've been anticipating. I mean, everybody else has been catching smallmouth and I figured it was about my turn to get one in soon. Ready? There she goes. Yes. Mission complete. That makes me one happy freaking guy, folks. Let me tell you that. Goodness gracious, I don't know what it is about my boat flips today, but they're really bad. But anyways, I don't know what it is about this bank line either, but I've been getting a ton of bites right here. Boat's sitting in about 14 foot of water, 
or the bite came from about 14 foot of water. Just another feisty little spot, spotted bass right here at the boat. Not a huge one, but a very fun bite once again. Pretty cool stuff. He's got some scars all over him. He's been he's been through the ringer a time or two. All right, man. Thanks for the buy. Appreciate it. Shoop. Stay down. Oh, that's a nice one. Stay down. Holy crap, folks. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Get in the boat. Come on. Good fish. Good fish. Oh. Don't jump. Don't jump. Don't jump. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, come here. Oh, yeah! Woo! Right there for you on the jig. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at that beautiful fish, folks. Dude. I mean, that's a tank. That's a freaking tanker, dude. That's a... <laughs> You can fit my freaking fist in his throat or just Oh man. Wow, that was fun. That was freaking awesome. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Get her back on in the water. Oh my gosh, guys. Yes! Dude, we've been sitting on a decent bag right now. I need to tighten up my GoPro. Did you guys see all kinds of crazy crap going on here in that hook set? Big guy. <laughs> I think that might be the smallest fish of the day, but gorgeous. I love the patterns on that guy. Gorgeous spotted bass. He took one of my crawls too, so. Shoop. Thank you, sir. Okie dokie. about another freaking tank of a large mouth. I mean, oh, he got off right here at the boat. Ah! Gosh dang it, Mitchell. Taking my freaking sweet time trying to get him in the boat.
That's all she wrote, folks. That is all she wrote. All right, folks. Well, that is actually going to do it for today's episode. It's hot, man. It's freaking warm outside. It is 2.20 right now. We've been out here since... Uh, we got out here a little after 7, so we've got a... We had a pretty solid day of fishing. Was it the greatest day of fishing? No. But was it a good day of fishing? Yes. We connected with like three or four three pounders and caught our first smallmouth of the year. So overall, with conditions that we were served and what we have around us and what was going on, I think it was an awesome day. I had so much fun. Um, just, just an overall great day of fishing. Uh, threw around that jig a little bit. Finally got on a pattern with that. One of my one of my favorite ways to catch bass is on a jig. Of course, you guys know I upload video after video with the jig. So, um, but hey, no spinning rod, no spinning rod this time. So that's always a good thing when you don't have to break out the spinning rod. We tried deep cranking, couldn't find that. Got a couple good fish on the top water bite, which is so freaking awesome. If I would have got out there bright and early. Uh, I'm sure we would have a lot more fish in the boat, a lot more topwater fish from this morning, but we were just on the edge of that topwater bite. So anyways, guys, that's going to do it. Just another good day of fun fishing out here on Table Rock Lake. Thank you. Thank you all so much for watching today's episode. Thank you for supporting the channel, supporting me and what I do and what I love to do. And uh, again, thank you guys so freaking much for everything that you guys do for this channel because without you, None of this would be possible. So thank you for your subscription. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you folks in the next episode. Peace.